All right, we got our cinch cord here. Let's plug it up. See how loud this thing is. Hawk is here with Chicken Hawk Farmstead, and today we're gonna check out a new air compressor I got, and I'll let you know why I end up with it, and I guess the reasons I went with it. See your thoughts, and I'll let you know my thoughts. Let's check it out. Here's the air compressor here, and the reason why I ended up with this one and had to get a new one even was because I had the cobalt uh, eight gallon, I guess hot dog shaped one, and in six months it actually crapped the bed on me. Used it maybe 15 times, and I don't know, I guess maybe I got a bad one because I consider them a pretty good brand here. That's why I went with another one, but I had to t I took that one back. Lowe's was nice enough to actually take it back and give my money back let me buy another one so we went with this one here this is a smaller one but the reason is this is supposed to be the 4.3 gallon ultra tech quiet tech air compressor it's supposed to be really quiet i hope that's true because nothing's worse than a loud air compressor when you're uh working inside of a building especially a thing kicks on and it's just screaming so I went with this because I don't think I'm going to need that much capacity, but a lot of what I do with this is I use the air a little bit to blow some stuff off sometimes, or air tires, pull floats. I don't use air tools at this time, so I think this is going to be more inadequate and hopefully a lot quieter. So I'm going to crack it open, we'll see how it looks inside, and uh, put this thing together, see if I really think it's that much quieter or not. Hope so. Be right back. All right, let's crack this box open. See what we got inside. Styrofoam and instructions. Let's look to the side. Hopefully, they ain't got it. I mean, parts. Should be pretty easy out of this. Happy. Now here's a one interesting quick little story on this thing. I'm sitting there looking at this and I was comparing this one to four point whatever it is, four point three to the little two gallon ultra quiet one. The big thing that was deterring me was on the smaller unit, it said there was a max PSI of 125 with a three year lim or limited warranty. Guarantee or whatever. This one, however, said it was a max pressure of 125 same with a one-year warranty thought that was kind of odd and I couldn't figure that out until I looked at the box though and the box actually says three-year warranty on it uh, went to the website same thing there said the picture showed one-year warranty on the unit but then when you read the description it says three so let's see what this says on the front all right this one I don't know if you can even see it up there Right here, it does say three year warranty and 150 max PSI. So that's nice because uh, they need to update the display because that was actually deterring me away from the, the bigger model. So I was like, what'd you do to it to make it only last a year? Uh, my last air compressor that I might actually replace with that original Cobalt, I had that thing 13 years. It was a Bosch little pancake. Worked great, did everything I ever asked for. So hopefully, this one will be another 13 year model. Oh, I like that. Stop here, on and off. Huge button. That's really nice. And yes, it's all put together right out of the box. Got lockers here. Her extension handle. Oh, that's nice. Pokes this bad boy around. Okay. Yeah, so far, I'm really liking this thing. Nice, clean. It looks good on it. Got a little blow up valve here at the very bottom, you can't see it. Right there. That's the dull tank, like I said, ultra quiet. <sighs> yeah, is that one horsepower running? I guess the hose. There's gotta be something I don't like about this thing. I'm gonna find here in just a second, I swear. I mean, this to be expected, a little six foot hose it looks like. 
turn it around. There's the engine. Let me get a better shot of the engine for you. Hold on just a second. All right, so here's here it is a little bit better, closer up. There's some of the specs there. And I mean, this thing looks pretty nice. I don't have no complaints. There's that huge button I was telling you about for the on and off. There's our engine in the back. There are nice all tires there. It does have, and that's kind of nice too. It's got a little spot to actually wind up. Extension cord, or the cord. Got a little book for it. And I will say, like if you look at the welds, that's one thing I noticed on the other one. The welds weren't that great. You could tell they were just kind of chopped on there. So, yeah, these welds look much better. Like someone actually cared. So, yeah, flip those out. You got your little handle to go drag it around. Alright, I like it. Throw this camera back on the tripod. And we're going to plug this up. And see what we think about it. Alright, we got our cinch cord here. Let's plug it up. Let's see how loud this thing is. Three, two, one. Oh! Wow! Yes! That is awesome. I'm trying to think what the I mean you can I'm sure you can hear me. This thing is so quiet. A generator is five times step louder than this. That is awesome. I am very impressed. I mean, my head's right next to it, and no, I mean it's it's there, but it's not bad at all. Yeah, that, that that's pretty amazing. Let's kick this thing off. Yeah, we're getting the tent or uh, air pressure. Kick that thing off. That air blowing off of it was louder than the the motor itself. This is impressive. When they said 80% quieter. They meant it. I'm not sure what the decimal rating is on it. I don't have a decimal meter tester thing yet. One of these days I'll get it for my YouTube, but not quite there yet. So like, share, subscribe, stay tuned. Definitely recommend checking this thing out. Totally worth the money just for the, the noise level alone. And if you ain't got that extra 50 bucks for this one and you're just airing up tires and stuff, I don't see why you couldn't just go to the smaller unit and save the 50 bucks. That's it for now. Have a good one.